Hey guys, welcome to a video that is purely only for educational purpose. In this video, you will get to know the way on how hackers hack your passwords. So how does hackers hack, you? hack your passwords? How? In this era of internet, any website uses a hashing algorithm. Websites use secure one-way algorithms called hashing to scramble the passwords into unique codes. It's like a secret handshake to your computer, ensuring only the right login unlocks your account. So let's understand this with an example. Let's break down how social media platforms like Facebook handles password storage in simple terms. Step 1. User registration. When you create an account on Facebook, you provide a unique username, email, or phone number and a password. Step 2 is password hashing. Instead of storing your password directly, Facebook or any social network uses a process called hashing. Think of hashing as a special function that turns your password to a unique string of characters using a complex algorithm. Step 3 Salt for security. To enhance security, a random value called salt is added to your password before hashing. This makes it even more challenging for attackers to use pre computer tables, rainbow tables to crack passwords. Step 4 Storage in the database. The hashed algorithm along with the password stored in the database. Even someone or the hacker if they get access to the database, they only see the hashed password and not the actual password. Step 5. Verification during login. When you log in, Facebook repeats the hashing algorithm using the entered password and compares the result with the stored hashed password. If they match, you are granted access. Step 6. Security measures. Reputable platforms implement additional security measures like multi-factor authentication or facial recognition etc for better protection and security. So in this part, let's get a deeper into hashing password function. In the hashing process, when you create or change the password, the platform doesn't store the hashing password. Instead, it uses a method called hashing, which is a special function which converts your password into a unique set of characters called the hash. Hashing is a one-way process, meaning you cannot reverse it or get back to the original password. This is a crucial aspect of password security. But there are some ways like reverse engineering which would help you to get the password. Figuring out how a system stores password to break into it. Even a small change in the input of your password produces a completely different hash. This uniqueness makes it hard for the attackers to guess the password using the hash alone. So let's get a bit deeper into the hashing algorithms now. First one is MD5, Message Direct Algorithm 5. It's widely used in the past but it's considered insecure for passwords because, because it's relatively fast and it's vulnerable to brute force attacks. Next one is SHA1, Secure Hash Algorithm 1. Similar to MD5, SHA1 is now considered weak for password hashing because of its vulnerabilities. It's been replaced by more secure alternatives. While more complex than MD5, advancement in computing power have has made it more vulnerable to similar attacks. <laughs> Next is SHA-256, Secure Hash Algorithm. SHA-256 widely used hashing algorithm for password. It produces longer and more complex hashes than MD5 and SHA-1, making it really hard to crack. Next one is Bcrypt. Bcrypt is a popular adaptive hashing algorithm designed specifically for password hashing. It deliberately slows down the hashing process, making it computationally expensive for attackers to perform brute force attacks. This adds an extra layer of defense against unauthorized access. Next one is Argon2. Argon2 is the state of the password password hashing algorithm designed specifically for password protection. It is resistant to various attacking types including brute force, side channels, GPU based attacks etc. These are few algorithms but remember it's crucial for platforms to use up to date and secure hashing algorithms to protect your passwords. This security landscape keeps on evolving and the algorithms which were once considered secure will not be secure forever. There are high chances it might be outdated. Many companies password has been hacked like Domino's and many other and many data breaches has also occurred or the Equifax data breach of 2017 which exposed millions of Americans' personal user information. It is important to know that hacking is illegal and unethical, but there are ethical hackers out there who really work to provide secure systems and also identify vulnerabilities in websites. Here are a few methods that malicious hackers use to compromise passwords with the intent that users can better protect themselves. First one is brute force attacks. In a brute force attack, hackers try every possible combination of password until the correct one is found. Using a strong complex password with a combination of upper, lower and special characters etc may help in preventing. Additionally, we can use account locker policy something like rate limiter to limit the number of login items. Next one is rainbow table attacks. In a rainbow table attack, attackers use a pre-computer tables using a large number of hash values and a corresponding plain text passwords. These tables speed up the process of matching the hashed password to the original plain text forms. So how to prevent it? We can use salted hashing. As I already said, a random value is added to each password before hashing. This makes pre-computer tables ineffective because for the same password, different salt will have different hash values. Also using strong hash 
processing algorithms like argon 2 or bcrypt these algorithms are designed to be computationally intensive making it more time consuming and resource intensive for attackers to conduct rainbow tribal attacks also regularly updating the hashing methods stay informed about advancement in cryptographic hashing and update your hashing methods accordingly what may be secure today may be vulnerable tomorrow as attackers develop more better techniques next one is unique salt for each user few organizations in the past have missed this and gone into vulnerabilities ensure that each user has a unique salt as i already said this prevents attackers from using pre-computer table for multiple users next one is something really important monitor and respond regularly monitor login items and if any unusual patterns or suspicious activities are detected implement methods such as account lockouts or additional authentication steps next password hacking method is phishing phishing involves tricking users into revealing their passwords by posing as a trustworthy entity often through fake emails messages or even websites for example you will be redirected to a website where the attackers ask you to enter username and password without properly checking the trustworthy of the site if you enter your credentials the password would be redirected to the attacker next one is key logging malicious software you used to record a keystroke on a user's computer capturing sensitive information like passwords or whatever information you type on the system to prevent this it's necessary to keep your antivirus software up to date avoid downloading files or software from untrusted sources and regularly scan your system for malware next one is credential stuffing attackers use list of previously compromised usernames and passwords to gain unauthorized access to other accounts where users have reused their password to prevent this avoid using the same password across multiple accounts use a unique strong password for each online service there are many password managers available to to manage all your passwords so try using them next one is social engineering social engineering involves manipulating individuals by giving away their confidential information often by exploiting trust and posting as someone they know to prevent this if anyone asks for your personal information even if it's from trusted sources be aware it's very very important to verify the identity of the person or organization making the request next one is dictionary attacks similar to brute force attacks dictionary attacks use pre-computed words and passwords from the dictionary prevent this use complex and unique passwords and avoid using common words and phrases next one is man in the middle attacks attackers intercept communication between the user and the legitimate website to capture login credentials to prevent this use encrypted connections like https even if you're using https be conscious when connecting over a public wi-fi and consider using a virtual private network if you enjoy watching the video make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel as it will motivate the channel for more such content protecting yourself against using strong unique passwords enabling two-factor authentication staying vigilant against phishing attempts and keeping your software and security measures up to date are much necessary safeguarding your password is crucial to protect your online accounts including the preventive measures here are several best practices which help you minimize the risk of hackers gaining unauthorized access to your passwords number one is use strong and unique passwords create complex passwords that contains uppercase lowercase special characters symbols etc and avoid guessable uh, information in that password next is enable two-factor authentication this adds an extra layer of security by allowing accounts to enter an additional login code or uh, otp code or something to log in into your system this would be usually generated by an authenticator app or as an otp which is sent to an email next one is update your password regularly change your password periodically especially for critical accounts this helps to mitigate the risk in case a password is compromised without your knowledge next one is beware of phishing attempts be cautious of phishing emails messages and websites avoid clicking suspicious link can verify the authenticity of a request when asking for your personal information next one is use a password manager consider using a reputable password manager to generate and store complex passwords for each of your accounts password managers help you to manage your password security and you need to remember only one strong master password make sure that is not guessable next one is keep your software and systems updated regularly update your operating system software application and antivirus programs updates often include security patches that address vulnerabilities that could be exploited by the attacker next is to monitor your account activity if your online services provide notification for login information or uh, any changes made into the account make sure to enable that to stay informed next one is avoid public wi-fi for sensitive transactions avoid accessing sensitive accounts or important transactions when connected to a public wi-fi network sometimes they may not be secure and always try to use vpn for an additional security next is to educate yourself on security practices make sure to stay updated on the security threats especially there should can be a call phone call and they ask your sensitive information these are usually common which needs to be avoided it's better to use websites especially like bank websites or any critical websites which are https even though http websites can be hacked using http or https can lead to an additional layer of security final one make sure to implement account lockout policies if an account or a service has a lockout policy enable it this prevents the number of login attempts and helps to prevent brute force attacks by following these practices you can significantly improve the security of your accounts and reduce the risk of unauthorized access to your accounts also remember a multi 
eight layer of security on the account is more secure than relying on a single method. Implementing these security methods is necessary to protect yourself against unauthorized access.